I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this beautiful old Mason and Hamlin, and uh, let's check it out. So uh, it's a little bit dusty in here, but it uh, looks pretty good. It was in pretty rough condition, and now it's looking gorgeous. Not bad for 100 years old. Mason Hamlin, if you're not if you're not aware, we're gonna have to dust this piano before we deliver it to this customer. Mason Hamlin is is a is a top is a top notch brand, a high end high end piano maker, and they still are to this day. The the Burgett brothers, um, or at least one 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 of the Burgett brothers, is now remaining. Uh, He's the owner, and uh, they're built outside of Boston. And they, uh, they're, they, they were a super high-end piano at this time, 100 years ago, and they still are to this day. They're very, very expensive, and, and a lot of people think that they're well worth the, well worth the price. Okay, let's check out, check out this, um, the guts in here. We've. Uh, Done a number of repairs on the soundboard. We've refinished the plate with this automotive paint that looks really nice and beautiful and shiny. And of course, it was all patched and everything with bondo and sanded down, made to look beautiful. We've got new strings on there, and obviously all new felts, new dampers. See the dampers in here. Beautifully, those are. regulated and the hammers you can see the hammers down in there new hammers um, new shanks um, the the action is just all new just completely redone and uh, rebuilt the track work which is everything having to do with the pedals and yeah so this is I mean Basically, like a brand new piano. So let's let's hear it. Oh, let's check out these keys actually before I play it. These are these are ivory. You can tell because you can see kind of a grain pattern. We've we've done we've kind of sanded them down. They, the ivory actually works quite a bit like wood. The way you can sand it and polish it and work work it. Um, so we've done that on on these ivories. It was in good enough condition that uh, that it wasn't worth taking off the old ivory and putting on plastic. But rather, we opted to to kind of re reconstruct the old ivory. A number of chips that we that we filled and kind of shaped things and polished them, like I said.
piano sounds really, really good. Sorry, I've got uh, a whole bunch of workers back here. Uh, I hope that didn't ruin things too bad, but uh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. It looks beautiful, um, totally rebuilt. This piano is going to be good to go for another two, three uh, decades, many, many decades to come. Um, always excited to, to see a piano like this come out of the shop. Thanks for watching.